Hey guys, it's EMG Creations. I'm doing a review on Palpatine's Arrest, uh, set number 9526, ages 9 to 14. Um, I'll start off with uh, the actual box and then I'll work onto the set. Um, the box is just an overview of uh, everything. It's got a new Mace Windu, a new Chance to Palpatine, the same old Kit Fist do, Anakin Skywalker, it's new. Uh, Sassy Tins got new printing, and um, Agent Claw, Claw. I, I don't know how you pronounce that, but um, I don't know how to show you guys the back of the box. Okay, to show you some features, sliding doors, Palpatine stuff, Mace Windu having a fight, Anakin leaving the little Starfighter, and then, and then, um, Palpatine electrifying Mace Windu. Let's start off over here. Um, everybody apart from Kit Fisto has had new printing and new face and stuff. Uh, but yeah. On Anakin, uh, he has a cape, he has new hair, new face, um, new body torso printing, new leg printing, uh, one black and one peachy hand. Then on the back, uh, Anakin has uh, back printing as well, which is very nice. Um, Anakin comes in as Starfighter. Anakin does have a lightsaber, but it's in the box. Um, and you also get a brick separator with it, one of the, the new design brick separators, so that's very good for other builds and stuff. Um, yeah, the Starfighters are very sort of basic, simple design. I, lo I love just the way it's shaped and stuff. There is stickers that go with it, but um, when I have time, maybe sometime, I might make a stop motion of this being built. So I didn't want to add the stickers on now, I was going to add it on in the stop motion. I doubt I'll be able to do it tomorrow because I'm most probably going to cinema with my family to see the new James Bond. It's not that, it is new, but it's been out for a couple of weeks. But we just haven't seen it yet because my mum and dad's work is very busy. So, yeah. It comes with two flip fire missiles. It's just getting a bit boring now having so many flip fire missiles because, like, most sets, some sets have flip fire missiles. The gunship had flip fire missiles. The Corporal Alliance tank had flip fire missiles. This is flip fire missiles. Uh, the Republic shuttle, there. Uh, although it's push, it's still flip fire missiles. Um, yeah, they need to bring out something new and special. The the dropship had flip fire missiles. Yeah, there's a couple more or a few. Um, the landing pad here. Uh, there is a little two high thing sits in it, which is very nice, so it's nice and cosy, not it's back design. Uh, you can, <coughs> it's really hard doing it by one hand, I'll quickly pause you and separate it. There we go, you can separate it, uh, so you can, if you want to have it there, or have it there, there you know, it's, it's your deciding, you can decide whereabouts all the doors and or the door, which I'll come to in a minute. And the landing pad go. I just do it like that because that's what they show on the box. But from there, they've done it slightly different. On the front, it's all in a line. But anyway, so that's the landing pad. So I can move that over there. Next bit is the doors. I don't know if I can open them. But it's good design. They open from both sides by using the little handle pieces here. So you can do that and then you can see through, which is actually really cool. And I like the way that it's just easy, like, to slide. Um, uh, to be honest, they could have made it a bit better, the set. They could have maybe had, like, a wall. The walls going around, and then the doors open, like, behind the walls or something. So that, because Palpatine never actually had just a sheer nothingness either side. They could have had, like, a wall here or something, just to make it feel a bit more room-like instead of empty space. But it's still a good set. I'm going to quickly pause it so uh, then I can take... Oh, hang on. Have I got it? Yeah, got it. Hence killing Kit Fisto. I can stand over there. Uh, yeah, Kit Fisto again. Uh, no new detail. They do have the sort of matte chrome lightsabers. 
Sorry, this is my phone camera. It's not. I don't have a proper decent recording camera yet. Um, maybe get one for Christmas. I don't know. Yeah, they they all all, cut, all the Jedi come with capes, which is very good. Well, Anakin's sort of Jedi. And then over here, this is the Argon Corral. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Please comment if I'm saying I'm right or not. Uh, he has. He looks like Eve Kelf, to be honest. I think they just redone his skin colour. Ethcoff had a tan. Well, he has a tan now. Um, his printing on his chest looks a bit sort of like, at first glance, it looked like Obi Wan's sort of chest. But it's not. It's He has his own individual one. And I think, again, he has back print. Yeah, they have back printing to all of the characters, I think. I don't know about Palteen, but the Jedi have back printing. Okay, next character is Sassy Tin. He has a new face, which is kind of nice. He looks a bit angry. Well, he should be, to be honest. According to the situation. But yeah, he's got his lightsaber. I, I like the way they moulded his head to make it sort of... Like, as if it fits on his head. And I think he... Yeah, he too has back printing. Last but not least, Mace Windu. They've redone his face... Which I don't think I can show you because I don't think it was in this. Um, but isn't it, it is a new face from uh, the Clone Wars? It's not the original uh, Clone Wars Mace Windu. It's a new face, which is pretty good. He's got I think he's got the same body and no backprinting, unfortunately. And then there's the doors. Time on to the actual Palpatine room bit. Uh, it's got good detail of the figures and then the hologram table there has two swiveling Jedi seats his table and then there's Palpatine himself he does have a double backed face or double face um, he's got it when he's angry uh, when he's older from using the lightning um, yeah this is another good character and then he's got sort of stripes which are sort of like circle patterns but yeah um there are some good things about the set there is the um the jumping side of it where you flick at this one either side so that you can make him jump uh also you lift these up you get his lightsaber there and then here you get his two pieces of is electric that he fires out of his hands, which to be honest is a bit weird. Um, I don't know why George Lucas decided to give them lightning firing out their hands, but anyway, it it makes the film much more cool. And then when Palpatine sort of stands here, and stands, oh, I won't stand. But anyway, the window flies back like that. That's simply just known by a little pull bit. That was okay, I suppose. It, they could have done it, like, maybe elasticated. Because that's just really flimsy. The piece. So if it was elasticated, it could have held it in, then you have to, like, properly pull it back for it to fling. But in order to stop the Lego from breaking at all, they use a rubber piece. So when it drops, it does bounce, which I thought was a very clever idea for Lego to do that. But I think that's about it for this set. There's nothing really, anything extra to add. Got all the figures. They're all good figures. I'm pleased with the uh, detailing on them. Stand up, you silly man. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed about Kit Fist, dude. They could have maybe reprinted his chest because he's still the same um, sorry for the camera going off a bit I'm just standing all the figures up there's all the figures and there's all the pieces you get with it thanks for watching this video and I shall see you guys in the next video thanks guys bye